<sighs> did not want to have to do this, but it's time to. So the FIFA 19 beta is still out, and so many of you guys have been playing it. And the most popular comment of all has been that there's been no single update to FIFA 19 Pro Clubs. The game mode with still the most potential has apparently not had any updates to the mode itself. Yes, there's new boots, obviously new gameplay with the new FIFA, new graphics, all that stuff, but there's been nothing added to the game mode itself. This is a game mode which to this day, for me, could be the most fun game mode to play in all of FIFA. When you're playing pro clubs with your mate and you score an amazing skill goal, there's no more enjoyment in scoring a goal than that moment right there. Pro clubs, it's phenomenal. It really is so much fun. Yet every year, it seems to not get the attention that it deserves and it's not on. You guys know me by now. If I see something that I think could be improved and it will better the FIFA franchise, then I'm gonna say it. Pro clubs needs updating. I've told people who work at EA themselves, pro clubs has been in need of a big overhaul for years. I suppose the biggest change EA added to pro clubs in recent years was probably the kick creator. And I guess that was a step in the right direction, but at the same time, it didn't really give us freedom. I've seen kick creators on Madden 07, NBA Live Think 05, FIFA maybe, was it FIFA 06 or 07? You could create kits on PS2 FIFAs and other EA games on PS2 that had more options than we do currently in pro clubs, which is not right. What we want is freedom. What we want is customization for this game mode. It is phenomenal. It's fucking great when you're having a laugh with your mates on pro clubs. It's brilliant. When YouTubers, streamers are playing pro clubs, it's probably the most laughter you'll see on FIFA. It's freaking hilarious, man. It's great times, but they just don't give it the attention that it obviously deserves. So many people, by the way, play pro clubs. You'd be surprised. There's also a thing, is it the VFL? Very good organization who run like a pro clubs league. And they were saying like, Matt, like I can't, they can't believe how this mode is so popular yet EA continue to just ignore it in a big way. And it's not on, man. They have so much in terms of assets and so much obviously goes into the journey, which is great. Obviously, Ultimate Team is their biggest earner. You guys may have seen their like profits from that. It's honestly insane. Um, yeah, pro clubs and career mode actually as well have apparently not had that much of an improvement. And I'm doing this video to really broaden the message, hopefully in a good way. And I'm doing it in a constructive way, in a passionate way, as I love FIFA. If you make FIFA videos and you play FIFA a lot in the day, highly like it's highly likely that you love the game. I do YouTube videos because it's so much fun and I'm passionate about it. I love football, I love sports, and I love FIFA, man. It's amazing, but when you see something that is so much fun at the heart, yet it can be improved a lot more, and it's just not, it's very frustrating. FIFA, it's feeling like FIFA 20 is gonna be the FIFA when they're gonna have a lot of updates, but even saying that, We've been saying since pro clubs really kind of originated, I think was it in FIFA 08 or maybe 09? I think it may have been 08 actually, when pro clubs kind of began and it was like a revolutionary thing. A lot of people have been asking for like a first person mode in pro clubs, which I think one day would be kind of cool. Maybe they could do that. Others have been asking for things like 3v3, 5 a side mode in pro clubs, and that would be a step in the right direction. For me personally, I want more customization. I want the ability to create my own stadium in pro clubs, things like that, little thing, well, little things, but it's a big thing in a way. It is a big thing, but you know what I mean? I want customization all throughout FIFA. It would add to the game. It would improve the game. And in terms of pro clubs, though, a lot of you guys have been tweeting me today. People think you should be able to buy in-game players for your pro clubs as well. For example, on pro clubs right now, we can have AI players and they're like random players, but people think you should be able to earn maybe three or four AI players who are real players. So for example, you could earn, let's say, I don't know, 100 XP. It's probably gonna be thousands. Let, let's call it 10,000 XP, which takes like, maybe you win, maybe you win Division 2 in pro clubs and you get a defender like Marcelo as an AI player. Things like that to add to the game mode would be brilliant. Others won accomplishments back in the game. Some people have even said, you know what? Why don't they add microtransactions to get more added features to pro clubs. I don't know if that's the right direction. I mean, you see how successful Fortnite is without having you know, to pay for the game itself, but I don't know, would you guys want that? What would you want added to pro clubs to improve it? Because apparently right now, a lot of people are saying that just it's, it, it's the same. Things could change, but it's highly likely 
considering this is the beta. Others have said a training feature, so you can have a training mode, for example, within pro clubs to improve your players, your AI players. This guy says, make your own club incentives to win games instead of the same old divisions, more customization, training arena, warm up together before a game. I definitely think there needs to be like a training arena. I completely agree with that to get your friends, to get your maybe online friends as well on the same kind of wavelength before you go into a game. That would be amazing. That really would be cool, actually. In fact, most people are now saying they want upgradable AIs, which I think would be a brilliant feature. Even that alone would go a long way. Ability to level up our stadium, depending on what division we're in. I actually have a club name on custom badge kits, all that good stuff as well. Um, the ability to be heard by EA and not have the game breaking glitches for three months before a fix. A lot of people saying that about our clubs, they feel like they get ignored a lot. Um, and to be honest, I feel like it's a good thing that I'm making this video to broaden I guess just to enlighten me a bit more maybe, because Pro Clubs does go into the radar quite a bit. Um, so hopefully this gets the message out that Pro Clubs does need improving. We love Pro Clubs. We're passionate about Pro Clubs. Improve it. it yeah, just come on EA. We love Pro Clubs. Add to the game, add more features, and it's gonna be electrifying. We wanna have fun on Pro Clubs. We really do. And right now, it's feeling like a lot of the time it just gets left. And I don't know why. People are saying as well, maybe like a pro club's weekend league of like 20 games and the rewards could be like packs for each player within the within the club, which I think is actually a really cool idea. Just something, EA, surprise us. I want there to be so much more in the official launch of FIFA 19, but the fact that apparently the beta has not got the big, well, any upgrades to it um, is a very big concern, but can you please surprise us, EA? Just throw a curveball with pro clubs. We want to be surprised. We want to have even more fun than just the regular divisions. Because to be honest, that's not enough for a game in 2018, 2019 for PS4, Xbox One, whatever. Like we, we want more. We do. We want to have fun. More fun than just the basic divisions. I think that's actually a good idea. The competitive weekend league and each player gets a good reward. That would be very cool. Just saying. This guy says here, earn credits for season slash games to spend on the transfer market to improve default players. That's a very good idea as well. Can even be generic players. If I want a tall CDM, I should be allowed one. If I want a short one, quick one, I should be allowed one as well. That's a very good uh, tweet there by this guy called Carlton X on Twitter. Um, Galau here says, maybe upgrade the CPU in your squad as you get better and go, and go up in divisions in an ultimate team kind of way without being able to pay real, money, pay real money for it. That's a very good one as well. VR movement system. Start by fixing the leveling ups after each game. This guy put a really ridiculous uh, reply. He said, skins like Fortnite, for example, play with Spider-Man in matches um, or extravagant hairstyles like Neymar and Pogba as you rank up. Um, a lot of people saying though, I would like if your AI squad players got better as the club plays more games and star rating goes up. That's a very good one as well. I'm not sure on accomplishments, whether that is needed to be back in pro clubs. I'm not sure, um, but a lot of people are also saying, guys, that competitive mode is needed in pro clubs. I do agree. I think if they can get a good reward system out of that, where I think it would be good if you get like packs, for example, for each pro club player within the club. Let's say you have five members in your club and you win division one. Maybe you get you each get a 100k pack. That will go a long way. That would. That would actually be pretty cool. A bit like in the journey when you complete, let's say, chapter two and you get like an icon, uh, icon Rio Ferdinand, for example that would go a long way. Something like that. Um, yeah. And this guy here says, all I've seen all I've seen is people saying nothing has changed. It's basically FIFA 18. That's probably what happens when foot is the main mode. Um, tournament mode where you can have 11 v 11, 1 v 1. There's so many good tweets here, guys. A way to improve the AI um, when you get playing as an any. Something like NBA would be good, so you can have your own house or flat and you and you can roam and customize your guy and play uh, five-a-side games as a warm-up. That's a very good idea as well. Seeing a lot of five-a-side kind of features here for pro clubs. Better teammates. Everyone is saying better AI, more competitive modes. So on that note, comment down below. This video hopefully will get seen by EA. Hopefully this uh, gets the message across. I want to see more improvements in pro clubs. EA, I'm calling you out for this one in a constructive way like i'm passionate i want this game to be the best it can be it's never in a negative way it's always a positive constructive way like to help get the message across i want to see more done to pro clubs we all do to get even more fun we want to we want to play 
FIFA as much as people are playing Fortnite right now. Like, we want to have that level of fun, man. We want that. We want more customization, more freedom within FIFA. That's what we want to see. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this video. If we get 10,000 likes, that will be amazing. Subscribe for more videos like this as well, and I'll see you all later. What do you want to see in FIFA 19 Pro Clubs?